In this segment, I'm going to take you through the procedure for changing out the coupling on any of the Task Force TIPS LDH products. The tools required to make the change is a bearing strip removal tool. These are available through our service department, part number THA401, a pointed pick, and some white or silicone grease. Today we'll perform the procedure on a ball intake valve. The procedure is the same across the board of LDH products. Today we'll remove the five inch stores coupling to install a different coupling. This can either be done because a coupling has become damaged or your department may be changing size or thread types of hose. To start the procedure, we're gonna remove the rubber port plug that contains the plastic bearing strip. Using your pointed pick, simply pull it out and set aside. This coupling is locked out, meaning it will not rotate on the elbow. So the end of the strip should be right there, ready to grab. There's a hook on the end of the tool. Insert and hook the end of the bearing strip. Once you have it hooked, press down on the end of the tool to help the strip ramp out of the hole and lightly pull. Once it's exposed a couple inches, using pliers or a rag, Simply grab it and slowly pull out. Once that's out, the coupling will simply pop off. Remove any pieces left behind. The stainless steel ball is what retains the coupling, keeping it from rotating. If your new coupling will rotate, discard of the stainless steel ball. If the new coupling you're installing is a rigid coupling, retain that for use later. A couple points of note, dependent on the coupling you're taking off. If it's a non full time swivel coupling, meaning that once this is tightened on to its hose fitting, it will no longer rotate. Without a fitting threaded into it, it will rotate freely. You may have a non full time swivel ring installed that would need to be removed or will come with your new coupling. Inside there is an O-ring that seals it to the elbow. If you're going to a smaller size coupling, because of the differences in sizes of bearing strips, there may be a mate installed that steps down from the larger bearing strip to the smaller. If that's installed and you're going to a larger coupling, remove the mate. To install, there is a loaded cup seal. Inside the loaded cup seal is an O-ring. That O-ring always faces down into the coupling. Insert into the coupling so it sits flat. And then apply a bead of grease. Make sure the area where you'll be installing the coupling is wiped clean of any debris. This coupling will be locked out, so install the lockout ball. And looking at the mate, there will be a notch that lines with that lockout ball. Line that notch up with the ball and press on squarely. Once the coupling is firmly seated, we're ready to install the bearing strip. You'll notice one end of the bearing strip has a hooked end that is hooked with the removal tool. The other end is square. The square end always goes in first, leaving the hook end by the hole for removal. To make these more pliable if need be, you can soak them in hot water prior to installation. Taking the square end, insert into the hole and slowly insert it will make its way around. Once close, taking the end of your strip removal tool or a T-handle Allen wrench, 
press the rest of the way in. The coupling we, we removed used a rubber port plug to block the hole. This coupling uses a sticker. Clean the area where it will be seated. Remove the backing. And cover the hole. In the case of the locked out coupling, the hook end of the bearing strip will always be right next to the hole for removal. A swivel coupling, such as the case of the truck side of this valve, will swivel, meaning the bearing strip may swivel with it and the hook end may be in a location other than next to the hole. In order to remove these, remove the rubber port plug again. Locate the end of the bearing strip. You may have to move the coupling to find it. Once you've located it, hook the end. Once you've hooked it, holding the bearing strip still, move the coupling in the opposite direction. Once it's exposed, you can grab it. While continuing to rotate the coupling, remove the bearing strip. And remove the coupling. The reinstallation process is the same as the coupling we did on the inlet side. Reinstall the port plug and you're done.